here with music director Michael Stern, and we were going to talk a little bit about our guest artist, and we have two of those this week in a way, because we have the composer Jonathan Leshnoff and the great Hilary Hahn. Tell us a little bit about Well, I've known them both guests. for a long time. Um, Hilary I played with a long time ago, and she's, of course, a wonderful uh, young American violinist. Well, she's now 30. She is a major artist, um, American violinist, really a, a pristine player and a, a, a wonderful musician. Um, probing intellect, incredible technique, but a, a really lovely musician, and, and the Sibelius is such a violinist's concerto. You know, there's so much um, activity and emotion and, and challenge and the sense of struggle and this brooding first movement, which is so, uh, you know, sort of cut off from its moorings and searching, and uh, a kind of not pain-ridden, but certainly angst-ridden second movement, and then this marvelous, energetic, uh, almost demonically rhythmical um, last movement. Um, one of the great concertos of the 20th century and certainly a, a staple of the repertoire, and it's absolutely fantastic to have her here. I think she's making her Kansas City debut. She's certainly coming here for the first time with the orchestra since I've been music director, so it's, it's a delight to welcome her. And Jonathan is a friend for a long time. I've commissioned him, I've recorded his music, I've played his music in a lot of places, and um, it was a wonderful thing to be able to, be able to co-commission, that the Kansas City Symphony co-commissioned this piece with um, the Orquestra Extremadura in Spain and the Baltimore Symphony, uh, who actually gave the premiere last season. This is the second performance and we're delighted and honored to be able to present the piece here in Kansas City and to play the piece for the second time. And it links a little bit with the last moment of the Sibelius because it's got this, I mean, Jonathan's stated intent in writing this piece, which is titled Starburst, was to write this incredibly virtuosic, brilliant, short, rhythmic, um, and very propulsive overture. And he accomplished that wonderfully well with a lot of great flair and color and it's kind of a romp for the whole orchestra, and it's really a lot of fun to play, and it's a great way to kick off the concert. And what's that like to be able to perform the music uh, in rehearsal like we did today with the composer sitting in the eighth row giving you, you know, his thoughts right away? You can't ask Beethoven for his thoughts right away. What, what's that like to have the composer right there in the room? Well, that's one of the great advantages to doing contemporary music, and it's one of also the great, it's also one of the great um, rewards of doing contemporary music because you really can get into the piece, have ideas, but also sound out from the person who wrote those ideas down if you're in the right direction or not. And sometimes you can propose something where the direction is slightly different and the composer likes it and then you're feeling, wow, it's good. You found something in the piece that he actually, he or she actually likes. And then sometimes you're a little bit questioning of something and there, right from the horse's mouth, you get the answer. Um, and on top of that, it's lovely when it's a real friend. So you've got this innate shorthand and understanding of what his musical language is and you also want to do right by him you know and you know the orchestra is in is in wonderful form so it's it's great to be able to come right out of the gate with this kind of energy and commitment to a piece that they didn't know at all and which i think is so direct in its communication and its ability to take the hold of the audience that it's going to be a really well received and, and it's going to be a big hit when we play it on, on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to it. And a concert of very high energy music, colorful music, some of the most uh, brilliant ballet music ever written. It's, it's going to be quite the weekend. I look forward to it. Me too. Thanks so much. Thank you.